I was at a funeral recently, and uh, I'm with my wife. It's a family funeral on her side, and uh, I don't know. We're just sort of. It's not an intimate member, so we're a little far back. And uh, she starts giggling, and I look over like what's going on, and she points down to uh, the gravestone in front of us. And etched into the gravestone is the normal stuff, but also a uh, sprite can of chicken wings just etched right into the grave. And, uh, you know, it just got me thinking, like, did he put that in his will, or, you know, Rocky died, and his friends were like, you know what we gotta do, we gotta show up that extra money, show people how we truly live, we gotta go to the engraver, and pay him to get a Sprite, and chicken wings that dinner. You know, maybe it's supposed to be a Sierra Mist, but that funeral only does Coke products. Uh, I don't know. I'm kind of a pessimist. You know, I I think people are capable of, you know, a lot of cool, good things, but we're also kind of jerks at the same time. And we use our, like, ability to think great things, and we kind of do stupid things with it. Like, have you noticed, uh, Benches have these things in them now, these little slats, right? And they're not just to make me feel self-conscious about my weight. They're there to keep homeless people from sleeping on it. So somebody thought of a way to take something away from someone who has nothing. It's pretty clever, I think. Uh, I don't know, if I had to grade the human race, I'd give us a C minus, I think. You know? We got like art and stuff, but we also have genocide. And, uh, I don't know, I think that though if we had another alien, like an alien species to compare ourselves to, we wouldn't come off so well. Like, like if somebody threw off the curve, we'd look terrible. Like if we found an alien species that had races but no racism, we'd just fail. You know, if we met like a race of flurbs and there were blue ones and orange ones, and we'd be like, hey, did you ever just kill all the blue flurbs? No? You at least had to capture a bunch and just make them work? No? Did you at least keep them from voting? Not even that. Please tell me you just stole a genre of music. They just invented a genre of music and you showed up the next day and I, look what I did! No? Neither did we. We didn't do that at all. No? Oh. I don't know. I get these ideas and I don't know if they're good. And I test them out. But like sometimes my brain jumps to the dumbest conclusion first. Like I had a car problem this winter where it was just stuck in the snow. And I think it was, ele it was electrical, like it just wouldn't turn over. And I was messing with the car and I pull a piece of wood out from between the battery and the battery slat. And I'm like, oh, this is in charge. My battery wood's dead. That's not it. They don't have to sell battery wood Home Depot. I don't know. Um, what else I get? I don't know, uh, I don't want to get too political, but I think the death penalty is a little weird. And I don't mean that we kill people for crimes, I mean like the way we go about it. Like if we didn't have the death penalty and a guy showed up today and proposed how we did the death penalty, we would stay away from that guy. We'd be like, hey, we're going to have a trial, we're going to be absolutely sure this guy did it, then we're automatically going to have another one just to be safe. Then I'm going to lock him away with all the other people we're going to kill. For, like, years. Don't worry about it. We don't know how long it'll be. Then I could end up with a phone call, but I'm probably not. Uh, I don't know. Then, we let them eat whatever they want. The day of. Anything you want. Doesn't matter. You can mix cuisines. Uh, just, you can eat that, but, like, you got this little dread inside of you, because you know, unlike every other meal you've ever had, you're never going to ship that one out. Not alive. And, and then, like, if you look it up online, there are actually databases. Like, Texas has a huge database of all the last words people have said. So we ask, like, hey, what's the last thing you ever want to say? You write that down? And you can go read them, and they're kind of weird, but, like, that is a little too far. Like, I, I feel like the next proposal after that is the guy's like, okay, after they're dead, I want to sneak in, I want to cut off an inch of clothing, and I will make a patch quilt suit of all the people who died that year. <laughs> all right, my name's Adam Weatherford. Thank you very much. Adam Weatherford, everybody. Now. Yeah.